these two guys in a lunatic asylum. Hello. Came to talk. I've been thinking lately about you and me. About what's going to happen to us in the end. We're going to kill each other, aren't we? Perhaps you'll kill me. Perhaps I'll kill you. Perhaps sooner. Perhaps later. I wanted to know that I'd made a genuine attempt to talk things over and avert that outcome. Just once. Are you listening to me? It's life and death that I'm discussing here. Maybe my death. Maybe yours. I don't fully understand why ours should be such a fatal relationship. But I don't want your murder on my... hands. Hey? Hey! Wait a minute! If you touch me, I ain't got rights! You're not allowed to... Touch me? Ah! Oh, God, Where is no! he? Uh, Do you realize? Uh, Do you realize what you've set free? Where is he? Get him off of me! Dear God, he's gone berserk. Open that door, man. Okay, that's enough. You know the laws regarding mistreatment of inmates as well as I do. If you harm one hair on his head... Commissioner, if you're concerned about it, it's yours to take care of it. Now, you whimpering little smear of slime, I'm going to ask you one more time. Where is he? Ah, there you are. Have you had a chance to inspect the property and decide if it's what you were looking for? Well, it's garish, ugly, and derelicts use it for a toilet. The rides are dilapidated to a point of being lethal, and could easily maim or kill an innocent little child. Oh, so you don't like it? Don't like it? I'm a crazy for it. You... you really want to buy it? And the price, I mentioned, it isn't too steep? Too steep? My dear sir, as I look at it, I'm making a killing. And, anyway, money really isn't a problem. Not these days. Well, how'd it go? Did they like your act? Well, they said they might call. I don't know. I, uh, got nervous and messed up the punchline. Oh. Uh, what do you mean, oh? I, I didn't mean anything. Yeah, you did. The way you said it. Oh, like that. Jesus, all I said was... You said oh, as in oh, so you didn't get the job. As in oh, so how are we going to feed the baby? You think I'm not worried about that? You think I don't care? That it's all a big joke to me or something? Jeez, I have to go. I have to go and stand up there and nobody laughs. You think... You think I... Oh, God. Oh, baby. Oh, God, I'm sorry. I don't mean to take it out on you. You're a... Uh... You're suffering enough being married to a loser. Honey, that's not- It's true. I can't support you. Oh, Jeannie, what are we gonna do? It'll be okay. Junior won't be here for another three months, and I think Mrs. Burkus will let the rent go a little longer. She feels sorry for me. She hates me. She comes out into the hallway to scowl at me every time I go upstairs. This house stinks of cat litter and old people. I've got to get you out of here before the baby comes. I want enough money to get set up in a decent neighborhood. There are these girls on the street who earn all that on a weekend without having to sell a single joke. Ah, <laughs> oh, honey, don't worry. Not about any of it. I still love you, you know? Job or no job, you're good in the sack. And you know how to make me laugh. You know, I'm positive you won't regret this purchase. The place isn't that dilapidated. 
some of these rides are still pretty sturdy. Really, this could be one hell of a carnival. Oh, you're so right. Thanks to your smooth salesmanship and your silver tongue, you've completely sold me on the place. Let's shake on it. Uh, well, sure. It's my privilege. Indeed it is. Naturally, I won't be paying you anything. My colleagues persuaded your partners to sign the necessary documents just over an hour ago. <laughs> the property's mine already. So happy with that. I take it. I can see that you're so glad. You know, when you see the improvements I plan for this place, I guarantee you'll be absolutely speechless. And incidentally, that's a lifetime guarantee. Well, I must dash. There's equipment to hire, plus workers who will suit the general tone of the establishment. And then, of course, I've yet to secure my main attraction. Do feel free to stick around. Your refreshments, sir. Master Bruce, is there anything further I can assist with, or will that be all? No, that's all. I've been trying to figure out what he intends to do. It's almost impossible. I don't know him, Alfred. All these years and I don't know who he is any more than he knows who I am. How can two people hate so much without knowing each other? I hate this. Whenever we jail him, I think, please God, keep him there. Then he escapes, and we all sit around hoping he won't do anything too awful this time. I hate it. Dad, just once could you leave your work at the office and relax? I made you cocoa. Thank you, sweetheart. I'll drink it when I've pasted this latest clipping in. You know, I found that Catwoman scrapbook you said was missing. It was behind the wardrobe. Someday you ought to let me work out a proper filing system like we used at the library. <laughs> Oh, look, you used too much paste. It's all squidging under the edges of the clipping. You're gonna get it on your pants. Barbara, you're fussier than your mother w Was that the door? Yeah, it'll be Colleen from across the street. Tonight's our yoga class. Come on, Dad, company, put your scrapbooks away. <laughs> look at this one. First time they met. Now what year was that? Well, I remember you describing the white face and the green hair to me when I was a kid. Scared the hell out of me. I thought you'd be interested. Yeah, well, I had some interesting nightmares. Barb? Please don't worry. It's psychological complaint. Common amongst ex-librarians. You see? She thinks she's a coffee table addition. Mind you, I can't say much for the volume's condition. I mean, there's a hole in the jacket, and the spine appears to be damaged. You... you scum! My daughter, I'll... <coughs> Frankly, she won't be walking off the shelf in that state of repair. In fact, the idea of her walking off anywhere seems increasingly remote. But then, that's always a problem with softbacks. Good. These literary discussions are so dry. When you finish with the old boy, you know where to take him. And please do be careful. After all, he is topping the bill. You know... It's such a shame you'll miss your father's debut, Miss Gordon. Sadly, our venue wasn't built with the disabled in mind. But don't worry. <laughs> I'll take some snapshots to remind him of you. Why are you... doing this? To prove a point, 
Here's to crime. You see, you see, I have to prove myself as a husband and as a father. I mean, I, well, uh, I wouldn't be doing this sort of thing if, if, if it wasn't something important. It's like, I began as a lab assistant, right? Was a good job. Real good job. So, what I did, I quit to become a comedian. I was so sure I had talent. But, huh, well, look at me. I guess my talent didn't lie me in that direction. So you see, if I do just one big crime... Hey, jeez, man, be cool. I'm sorry, I'm sorry. I don't usually drink at lunchtime. It's just, if you're sure we can get away with this thing, and that nobody will know I was involved... Don't worry, friend. We'll take care of you. We need your help getting through that chemical plant where you work to the playing guard company next door. We really appreciate your expertise. So, like, to absolutely guarantee nobody connects you with the robbery, you'll be wearing this. Wearing? But there's no eye slits. I won't be able to see. There's these lenses. All red two-way mirror glass set into it. Pretty smart stuff, right? I... I don't know that mask. Isn't that the one the Red Hood guys wear who raided the ice company last month? Smart up. There ain't no Red Hood. There's just a bunch of guys and a mask. Right. It doesn't matter who's under the hood. We just sort of let the most valued member of the mob wear it for a additional anonymity. Sure. The most valued member. That's you, man. Uh, look, really, I don't know. That chemical plant was so grim and ugly. That's partially why I quit. But you said there's minimal security, man. Listen, do you want to raise your kid in poverty? No, of course not. You're right. I mean, it's just this once. Then I can switch neighborhoods and start proper life. That's the attitude. So, next Friday night at 11? Sure. Sure, why not? <laughs> Friday it is. And then starting Saturday morning, I'll be rich. I can't imagine it. My life's going to be completely changed. Nothing's going to be the same. Not ever again. Well, the bullet went through her spine. I'm afraid her legs are completely useless. Putting it bluntly, she may well be in a chair for the remainder of her life. Some woman in the same yoga class as Miss Gordon found her, name of Colleen Reese. She found the, uh, victim in a state of undress. But otherwise, the place was empty. The commissioner was... Undress? They didn't tell you? He had removed her clothing after shooting her. We, uh... Well, we found a lens cap on the floor that didn't fit any camera in the place. We believe that, uh, well, that he took some pictures of her. Jeez, look, really, I'm sorry. I thought you knew. It's pretty sick, ain't it? Yes, pretty sick. Please leave us alone for a moment. Barbara. Barbara, can you hear me? It's me. It's Bruce. <sighs> Bruce? Bruce? It was him. It took that. Oh, God. Oh, God. I remember. Oh, Bruce, what he did. Barbara, take it easy. It's okay. No. No, it's not okay. He's. He's taking it to the limit this time. You didn't see. You didn't see it in his eyes. He said he, he wanted to prove a point. Said Dad was top of the bill. What's he doing to him, Bruce? What's he doing to my father? Up, up. Oh. Wait, what's this? What are you doing? You can't do that. Stop. Oh, oh no. Oh, no, don't. Don't do this. I won't hurt. Please. 
What is this? Where are you? Where are you taking me? I. Oh. Oh dear God. Oh God. Am I dreaming? Am I dreaming this? What happened? I, I was sitting in my home. What? Down. Yeah. Somebody, please tell me what I'm doing here. Doing? You're doing what any sane man in your appalling circumstances would do. You're going mad. You. Oh no. I. I remember. Remember? Oh, I wouldn't do that. Remembering's dangerous. I find the past such a worrying, anxious place. The past tense, I'd suppose you'd call it. <laughs> Memory so treacherous. At one moment, you're lost in a carnival of delights with poignant childhood aromas. The flashing of neon puberty. Oh, that sentimental candy floss. The next still leads you somewhere you don't want to go. Ah! Somewhere dark and cold. Filled with the damp, ambiguous shapes of things you'd hope were forgotten. Memories can be vile, repulsive little brutes. Like children, I suppose. <laughs> Barbara. Oh no. Oh no. But... Can we live without them? Memories are what our reasons are based upon. If we can't face them, we deny reason itself. Although, why not? We're not contractually tied down to rationality. There is no sanity clause. So, when you find yourself locked into an unpleasant train of thought, Heading for the place into your past where your screaming is unbearable. Remember, there's always madness. Madness is the emergency exit. You can just step outside and close the door on all the dreadful things that happened. You can lock them away forever. So everything settled for tonight? You were still going through with it? Well, uh, of course. I'd be crazy to back out now. I mean, the worst part, lying to Jeannie, that's over. She... she thinks I have a club engagement tonight. No reason why she shouldn't keep right on thinking that. Right, man. No reason at all. Listen, tonight, wear a suit and bow tie. It's kind of the trademark with this Red Hood business. Of course. That's what Jeannie will expect me to wear to the nightclub. It's perfect. Uh, Joe? Hey, excuse me, sir. We're police officers. Could we speak to you outside for a moment? Me? But, but, uh, why? I haven't, I mean, I, uh... It'll only take a moment, sir. Uh, listen, uh... What's the problem here? I, uh... Sir, I'm sorry, but your wife had an accident this morning. Apparently, it tested a baby bottle eater. There was an electrical short arm. Well, she died, sir. I'm sorry. What? Listen, I hate to break it to you like this. It was a million to one accident. There are full details waiting for you at the hospital. There's no hurry. If I was you, I'd have another drink. My wife. She's dead. My wife. Gee, that's terrible. We're really sorry. Yeah, he, listen. Man, you probably want to be left alone right now, huh? Well, uh, see ya here tonight, okay? Tonight? But, but, I, I can't do anything tonight. There's no reason anymore. Genie. Genie. Genie's dead. You don't understand. No, no, no. 
I'm sorry about your wife, but it's you that don't understand. What's happening tonight, it's no little thing. Nobody backing out remains healthy. No exceptions. But, but... No buts, man. Tomorrow, you'll bury your old lady in luxury. Tonight, you're with us. Get the picture? Yes. Yes, I get the picture. Ah, ah, ah. Heads up, Commissioner. No fair hiding your eyes on the ghost train. You uh, old crazy cat. Uh, ah. No, I know. You're confused. You're frightened. Who wouldn't be? You're in a hell of a situation. But, you know, the life's a bowl of cherries, and this is the pits. Always remember this. Music, Sam. When the world is full of care, and every headline screams despair. When all is rape, starvation, war, and life is vile. Then there's a certain thing I do, which I shall pass along to you, that is always guaranteed to make me smile. I go loony as a light bug, battered bug, simply loony, sometimes foam and chew the rug. Mr. Life is swell in a padded cell, it'll chase those blues away. You can trade your gloom for a rubber room and injections twice a day. Just go loony like an acid casualty or a moony or a preacher on TV. When the human race wears an anxious face when the bomb hangs overhead. When your kids turn blue, it will worry you. You'll just smile and nod instead. When you're loony, then Wait. you just don't give a Wait fig. a minute. That's... And so puny, and the universe is big. Barbara? If you're hurt inside, get certified. And if life should treat you bad, Barbara! don't get even, get mad. There they are now. My goodness, that's some ghost train. When they went in, the chap in the middle didn't look a day over 17. And his three little pals were professional basketball stars. Look at him now, poor fellow. That's what a dose of reality does for you. Never touch the stuff myself, you understand? Find it gets in the way of the hallucination. Why, hello, Commissioner. How's things? Commissioner? Hello? Anybody home? God, how boring. This man's completely a turnip. Take him away and put him in his cage. Perhaps he'll get a little livelier once he's had a chance to think the situation over. To reflect upon life. And it's random injustice. Hey, come on. Quit daydreaming. Are we doing this thing or ain't we? Uh, yeah, yeah. Of course. I was... I was remembering. I used to walk along here on the way to work each morning. Yeah, yeah. Now put this sucker on, man. And shut up. What? Right now? I mean... I mean, are you sure it's okay? Will I be able to breathe? Hey, man. Everything cool. Jeez. You know, you got a funny-shaped head. There you still feel okay, man? Well, uh, yeah. I guess. Except everything's red. It's kind of stuffy, too. 
and it smells funny. Does my voice sound echoey to you? You sound great. Now, how about guiding us through this stinking factory to the joint next door? Yeah, sure. Sure thing. You know, this kind of feels weird. Like I keep remembering Genie. Watch out, man. Steps. Okay, we go through here, past the filter tanks, and then Monarch playing cards is just beyond the partition. You know, this place even looks worse than red. It looks like- Hey you, freeze! Come on, come on, get him up! You asshole! You said there was no security! They- they must have altered things when I left. Alter things? I'm gonna alter your stupid horse face, man! Ah, that noise! It's so loud in here! For God's sakes, run! This is all screwed up! Murph, get some men over to the rear bays. We got the Red Hood mobbing. I don't know. This mask, I can't see where I'm going. I'm gonna kill you, you useless son of a... When we get out of here, I'm gonna... What is it? What is it? It's all over me! Watch out, he's pulling a gun! Oh, uh, no, 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 no! The ringleader's taken off across the catwalk. He's still in range. No, no more shooting. I'm here now. I'll take care of it my way. Jeez, what? It's that human bat guy. All the papers lately. So, Red Hood, we meet again. No! No, no, no! This isn't happening, oh dear God! What have you sent to punish me? Don't come closer! Don't come any closer or I'll... Jump! <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, you've read about it in the newspapers. Now shudder as you observe. Before your very eyes, the most rare and tragic of nature's mistakes. Oh. I give you the average man. Physically unremarkable. It has instead a deformed set of values. Notice the hideous, bloated sense of humanity's importance, the club-footed social conscience, and the withered optimism. It's certainly not for the squeamish, is it? Most repulsive of all are its frail and useless notions of order and sanity. If too much weight is placed upon them, they snap! How does it live, I hear you ask? How does this poor, pathetic specimen survive in today's harsh and irrational world? And the sad answer is... Not very well. Faced with an inescapable fact that human existence is mad, random, and pointless, one in eight of them crack up and go stark slavering Bago! Who can blame them in a world as psychotic as this? Any other response would be... <laughs> crazy! Hello. Came to talk. I've been thinking lately. About you. About me. 
about what's going to happen to us in the end. We're going to kill each other, aren't we? Perhaps you'll kill me. Perhaps I'll kill you. Perhaps sooner. Perhaps later. Jim. Jim, are you... Are you still okay? Oh, God. Oh, God. It's okay. Let it come. He... He shot Barbara. Showed me f photographs. He tried to drive me mad. Listen, the police are following right behind me. I'll stay here with you until they arrive. No! No! I'm okay. You have to go after him. I want him brought in. And I want him brought in by the book. I'll do my best. By the book, do you hear? We have to show him! We have to show him that our way works! So... I see you received the free ticket I sent you. I'm glad. I did so want you to be here. You see? It doesn't matter if you catch me and send me back to the asylum. Gordon's been driven mad. I've proven my point. I demonstrated there's no difference between me and everyone else. All it takes is one bad day to reduce the sanest man alive to lunacy. That's how far the world is from where I am. Just one bad day. You had a bad day once, am I right? I know I am. I can tell you had a bad day. And everything changed. Who else would dress up like a flying rat? You had a bad day, and it proved you as crazy as everyone else. Only you won't admit it. You have to keep pretending like this all makes sense. Like there's some point to all the struggling. God, you make me want to puke. I mean, what is it with you? What made you what you are? Girlfriend killed by a mob, maybe? Brother carved up by some mugger? Something like that, I bet. Something like that. Something like that's happened to me, you know. I'm... I'm not exactly sure what it was. Sometimes I pretend it was one way, sometimes another. If I'm going to have a past, I prefer to be multiple choice. <laughs> but my point is... My point is I went crazy. When I saw what a black, awful joke the world was, I was crazy as a coot. I admit it. Why can't you? I mean, you're not unintelligent. You must see the reality of the situation. Do you know how many times you've come close to World War III over a flock of geese on a computer screen? Do you know what triggered the last World War? Any argument over how many telegraph poles Germany owned its war debt creditors? Telegraph poles! <laughs> it's all a joke! Everything, everybody, every valued or struggled for. It's all a monstrous, demented gag. So why can't you see the funny side? Why aren't you laughing? Because I've heard it before. And it wasn't funny the first time. <laughs> Incidentally, I spoke to Commissioner Gordon before I came in here. He's fine. Despite all your sick, vicious little games, he's as sane as he ever was. So maybe ordinary people don't always crack. Good. Maybe there isn't any need to crawl under a rock with all the other slimy thugs when trouble hits. Maybe it was just you all the time. No! Uh, don't!
God damn it. It's empty. Well, what are you waiting for? I shot a defenseless girl. I terrorized an old man. Why don't you kick the hell out of me and get a standing ovation from the public gallery? Because I'm doing this one by the book. And because I don't want to. Do you understand? I don't want to hurt you. I don't want either of us to end up killing the other. But we're both running out of alternatives. And we both know it. Maybe it all hinges on tonight. Maybe this is our last chance to sort this bloody mess out. If you don't take it, then we're locked onto a suicide course. Both of us. To the death. It doesn't have to end like that. I don't know what it was that bent your life out of shape, but who knows? Maybe I've been there too. Maybe I can help. We could work together. I could rehabilitate you. You needn't be out there on the edge anymore. You needn't be alone. We don't have to kill each other. What do you say? No. I'm sorry, but... No. It's too late for that. Far too late. <laughs> you know what's funny? This situation. It reminds me of a joke. You see? There were these two guys in a lunatic asylum. And one night... One night, they decided they didn't like living in an asylum anymore. They decided they're going to escape. So, like they get up onto a roof, and there, just across this narrow gap, they see the rooftops of the town stretching away into the moonlight. Stretching away to freedom. Now, the first guy... He jumps right across with no problem. But his friend... His friend didn't make the leap. You see? You see? He's afraid of falling. So then... The first guy has an idea. He says, Hey! I have my flashlight with me. I'll shine it across the gap between the buildings. You can walk along the beam and join me. But... But the second guy shakes his head. He... <laughs> he says... What do you... What do you think I am? Crazy? You just turn it off when I'm halfway across! <laughs> oh, do excuse me. <laughs> Ha 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 